Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary video. I know I do these very rarely, but we are here right now. And before I even start, please, if you could, this is begging, check out my other channels, One Neum and Two Neum. Um, I will leave them in the top of the description. One Neum is just a VOD channel for my Twitch streams, and Two Neum, I post a lot of my completions on there because I don't upload everything on my main channel anymore, and I would appreciate it if you watched uh, some Tunium videos and subscribe to one yeah my goal is to have both those channels monetized i think it's just like it's a good it's a good metric to reach so if you guys could help me out just please take a take some time out of your day i even have a fully up fully made content video on my second channel that if you like ultimate chicken horse you should check out anyways the main focus of this video is obviously if you read the title why did i switch to keyboard and i get that question so much on my twitch these days i've been planning on making this video for a little bit so now's the right time okay i'm just gonna i have a few talking points here and i'm just gonna rebeat this insane demon called effect and i'm gonna i'm gonna give you guys some commentary on why i switched to keyboard and some other things that you might want to know about how it feels to play on keyboard so let's get into it i guess just to answer the main question first and foremost why did i switch to keyboard it wasn't a one-off decision nor was i jumping on any bandwagons of like i know doggy had literally just switched right before i decided to you know i'm not just, just trying to copy other people i've been meaning to switch for a really long time now and and i finally got around to it when i had the money to buy a very fancy new keyboard which by the way that's another question i can answer i have a uh, Razer Huntsman V2 linear optical switches cost me like $200 or something. I actually don't even know. That's my keyboard and you know the main reason I switched was really I don't feel comfortable using my mouse and I've had a history of hand cramping. Not necessarily anything I'm worried about but uncomfortability has always been a huge thing along with something that's really huge on mouse is called debounce which is basically when you click down the mouse button, it's the amount of time before it actually registers that you're no longer clicking. And when you're trying to do really light clicks, my, uh, mice are just not as good as keyboards. It's the same reason why I had to switch to keyboard just for the ending of PPF to do the micro clicks in the robot part because frankly, micro clicking is just easier on a keyboard. That is one of the biggest advantages that I've always thought about or kept in mind when I was thinking of switching to keyboard. Another big advantage I feel like keyboard gives me is uh, CPS. I feel like I've naturally had a low CPS for a long time. It's only like recently that it's dawned on me that it's actually not because I'm like slow. It's because I'm limiting myself playing on mouse. I'm not saying you can't have high CPS on mouse. Some people have really good CPS on mouse, but it's not been me. And the reason why it's not been me is because of uh, grip. I just hold the mouse like your regular Joe Schmo would, you know, like I'm about to open up Excel and start doing my day job or something. And I realized that instead of switching mouse grip, it would be a lot easier for me to just switch to keyboard because of other reasons I'd already mentioned, I think keyboard is a better input method. So I was like, why not just go all the way? So my comfortable CPS increased by, I would say two, two and a half clicks per second just because I decided to make a switch. And here's a pro tip for anyone who's maybe not so good or doesn't know. There's actually two different types of clicks you can do. One is a finger click and the other is a wrist click. So basically you can try it out right now. Clicking using only your finger, don't move anything else in your hand versus click using your wrist, moving your wrist as the anchor point instead. Now I can't speak objectively on this matter, but what I will say is I think clicking on your finger only is definitely, definitely way worse. Um, very limiting and also I think it just gets really painful after you play long enough. It's natural, it's, it's like natural instinct when you play on a keyboard to do wrist clicking. Most people don't even realize that even if you are doing finger clicks on a mouse, when you switch to a keyboard, you're probably doing wrist clicks because it just makes more sense. Now, in reality, I do, because I've been playing on mouse for so long, I actually do more of a mix of a wrist click and a finger click, but still, just that alone, adding in the wrist a little bit gives me such a huge advantage over uh, controlling my CPS and having a higher CPS in general. And I am a huge fan of that advantage I've been given on keyboard. There's one thing, another difference between a mouse and a keyboard is the actual depth of the button itself. You all probably know that a mouse, when you click it in, it doesn't actually go very far versus a keyboard. When you click it in, it actually goes like physically much further. Now this is probably more just preference based, but I definitely prefer the keyboard in this sense that I am actually pushing the button way further in. It makes me feel like I'm in more control because I have more depth to my inputs. Those are all reasons that I think keyboard is 
superior actually to mouse as a tried and true mouse player since i basically started to since i switched just a month ago i've always thought these things maybe not always but it's definitely creeped in my mind more recently when the top players like zoink have started being keyboard users it really made me think even more like am i missing out and more demons are getting verified these days that have high cps parts in them and i since i wasn't physically able to do them i felt like i'm being like physically limited away from certain levels. I would have had a way harder time verifying Atomic Cannon Mark II if I never switched. And that's something I think about. But you know, not everyone switches to keyboard or starts playing on keyboard for getting an advantage. Again, I think I still would have switched if I didn't see any advantages, just because the comfortability for me, mouse gets really uncomfortable and I feel better now on keyboard so that's basically the gist of why i actually did switch after being a mouse player for so long i just see an advantage not everyone will see an advantage and not everyone needs an advantage but i feel like for me uh, it's just a lot easier to do everything i do if i if i make the switch so that's why i ended up doing it and okay moving on to the next section of this video i guess is if you're thinking about switching to keyboard for any reason there are a few questions i get asked and a few questions that you might need answering and one of my uh one of the questions i feel like i get and one of one of my concerns when i was switching is you know how hard is it to get used to ship and wave because of the d the debounce time on the keyboard being lower um any game mode that has releases like mainly ship and wave play a lot differently but i'm gonna be real i think i'm someone who gets like adapts very quickly it almost took just like a day or two to reach the same skill level of ship and wave i was already playing at but even if you aren't that kind of person, it like, it shouldn't be a factor to stop you. It's not gonna like ruin your life if you aren't as good at straight flying for a few days or f even a week or two. Off the top of my head, I remember Aeon when he switched to keyboard, he was worried about ship, but also he almost found it pretty naturally good, except for straight flying. And I remember Doggy saying that he thought that ship was already just way more comfortable on mouse when he switched or up arrow. It is, it does take getting used to, but again, with all the advantages, just having the better release time or more accurate release time, I should say, better micro clicking, you get used to it. GD is very muscle memory based. So you, you just, you'll eventually get rid of the old muscle memory and get get the new one in. Now, should you switch to keyboard? If you're thinking of going to switch to keyboard, um, maybe you're already looking at buying a good keyboard. I really wouldn't switch unless like for an advantage, I wouldn't switch unless you're already like a good player who who's looking for an edge up. Like if you're just some guy beating like hard insane demons or whatever the hell, you could play on a fucking Wii remote for all I care, bro. Like it's not gonna make that big of a difference. There's a reason why you only see top players using keyboards now instead of like back when the hardest demon was Cataclysm. Cause like it doesn't make that big of a difference on that end of the game. Even for things I'm beating, it really doesn't matter for most of them, except for levels with high CPS where I've already said keyboard has given me a significant advantage. But if you are looking to buy a new keyboard, I would recommend just, you know, it's, I think it's really comfortable. It really depends on the person, but I think keyboard's super comfortable. Ooh, another thing that I actually didn't know was an advantage until I started using keyboard is that I actually find it takes way less time to warm up. When I play on mouse, it feels like, I would say the descriptor is, it feels gross when I haven't warmed up. When I am playing on keyboard, from the first input I do, it feels good already. When I played on mouse, warming up was not only warming up in the game, but it was also warming up to using the mouse. And now it's just warming up to like the game. It removed that part entirely for me, which is something I didn't know was actually a thing on keyboard. And it might just be a, bean thi a me thing. It's something that I now take for granted. <laughs> I'm running out of things to talk about and I'm already um, I haven't even learned the whole level yet. So yeah, if you're looking at switching to keyboard, like the point at where it actually matters is definitely very high end. But again, if you like have a reason to, any reason to, I will be recommending the keyboard for Geometry Dash. And I'm sorry, you know, I see I see some things a lot where it's like, uh, Zeronium switched to keyboard, we lost another mouse player today. Now I'm not gonna get mad at people franking these comments because I know most of it's just in jest. Same if I just said that like legitimately as not a joke. Like, I don't know. I think it's a bit silly. It doesn't really matter what the fuck you play on, bro. Don't let people tell you that like you should be playing on keyboard or you should be playing on mouse even though i did say that i think one is superior like it's really preference and you can be good at the game on mouse like you can get very good on mouse even if i think it's not as good as keyboard i think the current playing limit is a little bit beyond the specific input device currently if that makes sense and with nothing else to do it's time to beat effect yay sorry i don't know what that was thank you guys very much for watching this commentary video if there's anything i missed i feel like i'll add it to the description somewhere um i'll probably respond to comments if you guys have any specific questions about switching to keyboard but maybe not kind of hate comments sometimes a lot of the times most of the time appreciate you guys watching again thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one
Bye, guys.